According to a news that was published by the Vanguard newspaper online yesterday, it was reported that Mr. Frank Shaibu, who happens to be the special assistant on public communication to the Atiku Okowa campaigning organization, has claimed that his party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, has better chance of winning the forthcoming presidential election than Bola Tinumbu of the All Progressives Congress, APC. While he was talking with Vanga's correspondent in an interview, he said that Nigerians know that Atiku would perform better than Tinumbu and the APC because all the promises that were made by this current administration to Nigerians have not been fulfilled. While reacting to what Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu said recently that he would defeat Atiku and other contestants silly in the election, Shaibu said that he knows what he knows from experience that every election is a game of chance. And apart from that, he thinks that the issue about the next election are not issues of who can beat who silly. He said the All Progressive Congress candidate has avoided public scrutiny. He has not shared a stage with any of the candidates since he was nominated by the party in June. Further talking, he said Tinumbu and the APC should first explain why 90 million Nigerians do not have access to electricity despite the humongous loans they have taken from foreign countries. Shaibu also said instead of dwelling on an administration that has left office since 2007, Tinumbu should explain to Nigeria what the seven years of the APC that he was to take over from all about because people have not seen anything to hold on to this administration. Mm. This is what even Tinubu himself called PDAPC. Now, a PDP had done their own. <laughs> Nigerians threw them out. Which with with whatever means, APC has come again. They have done worse. So there's cancer and cancer accusation. Oh, you didn't do well. You did well, and what have you? APC will come and tell you that a PDP 16 years of a PDP misrule wasted 16 years. That they would, they could have done better this and this and that. But now, PDP is not the one attacking them, because now this man is telling us. Tinubu has come out to tell us that a. After his first tenure, that if there's no electricity, power supply in the country, that they should not vote for him the second time. People are saying, hey, who is going to follow that? All those you people's promises. Once you enter, you begin to talk of nonsense things again, begin to justify. And you begin to tell us the reason why you cannot even achieve that because you have been telling us now, instead of you to talk about the, the trouble you are going to inherit if you win. To tell us the trouble you are going to inherit, how it came to pass that your same party could not even solve the problem. You are now going back to PDP, PDP era. PDP could not say offer light to Nigerians. They are telling us that he spent many billions of naira, and that's why he said even ordinary popcorn they could not even make down payments, and people are even going by that. But that being said, but APC and PDP they have been accusing themselves, and for somebody who is reasonable, when I say okay, since uh, you people. PDP, you have done your own. It was not good. APC has come out to so do their own. It's not good. So you just leave the stage for Labour Party. And it is Nigerian people that will decide that. Because some people are still telling you that eh, it does not matter. Even if you give APC 100 years, they will still not make any meaningful impact. And they will still be telling you about a 16 years of a, a PDP misrule. So who is fooling who? For the past seven years, they could not even do that. And you are telling us that as a APC candidate, you know, that uh, after four years, that if you fail to keep to that promise, that they should not vote for you. Huh. Nobody wants to take chances. So Nigerians will not want to take chances. I mean, the real Nigerians, not the psycho fans. Well, under this government, life has improved compared to PDP era. <laughs> this is a statement of fact. <laughs> How many times has national grief were uh, fell under? PMB. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Huh. Don't mind them. How many times? What is the, the this thing now? The what is it? The megawatts or what do they call it? It's still it's still between two thousand, three thousand. It's falling up and down. What are you telling us? Have they increased it? The national grid fell under Buari because the sixteen billion dollar that was a max for it was embedded 
under PDP government, which your principal <coughs> spearheaded. Is that what you are saying? So they didn't have money. I I can't even. I got no principal error in your area where when you just okay when you just have a devil or what if a dark and so evil even the devil is surprised by the level of evil on you okay the national grid fell under buari because of a 16 million or 16 billion dollar national grid collapsed under buari because article friends who bought the asset refused to function can you imagine did this happen eight years ago <coughs> We keep deceiving ourselves. That is why we remain where we are. If Atiku didn't sell the power sector to himself, so but they knew that uh, he, he, he sold the power sector. Then why did APC told us that uh, a responsible government within six months they will they will be able to protect or to provide the electricity? So when APC knew quite well that it's 16 billion that a PDP and Max or whatever they wasted, then why were you campaigning in 2015? 2014, 2015, that you are going to rectify it. You see what we are talking about? They will not be giving you stories. Even if Tinubu comes and he said, after four years, if he fails to provide electricity that they should remove him, he will come and tell you that it is because of the 16 billion they wasted on PDP. You see how, how useless that is? Because if you try to be politically correct, uh, oh, they are not uh, economical with the truth. They are very useless. These people are useless. That is it. Do you know how many lives they have destroyed? And you expect people to to start painting them, start, you know, using nice words on them. When they have, in the real sense, taking the lives of many. You can imagine their supporters, see what they are saying. The Tinubu I know, the useless politicians that I know, we still tell you the reason why they could not do so, 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 and so. So, 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 and so. You hear what they are saying? They are sickle this, sickle that. But you knew that. Did you just know that when APC came on board, did they just know that they knew all of these things and they said they are going to correct the anomalies and now they couldn't do it and that is telling you, ah, this country, eh? <laughs> not be by cause, not be by sway. If you, we fail to do the right thing, if we, f and the, you know the worst part of it, eh? I used to be in the school of thought that, eh, that you know what, that Nigeria until when we get to that level, when the suffering get to that at the peak, that maybe all of us will speak the same language but at some point i i just realized that i was making mistake because these people as much in as much we are going to be having the government of the day you will see people that will line up before uh, you know behind them and begin to defend them so it is going to be a, a tough one so i don't think of you know from what i have observed now i don't think there's going to be a time that the masses will speak in one language majority of the masses will speak in one language because the same politicians will divide them along many things they will still divide them and that is exactly what we are seeing and that's why it baffles a lot of people that with all the suffering that we are going through with everything that are so glaring before us some people are still saying apc or nobody so that's just the way it is well, I am for a southern presidency, so I, I and my family are going to vote Tinubu. There's no going back. Okay, that's your own cup of tea. Hmm. And I will go for Ubi. Everybody will go for Ubi. At the end of the majority will carry the votes. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.